All right, we're out here in the bright sunshine. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a flat uh, that I have out here. We're going to put some peat pots in it and some hard pots, and we're going to plant those suckers that, uh, that were in the kitchen. So you'll be able to see exactly how we go about doing that, and hopefully you can have success trying to save your suckers as well. Okay, now you can see that we have, um, have all of our supplies here. I have the peat pots, a large peat pot for the uh, larger plant and some smaller peat pots for the smaller ones. I have some potting mixture, which just happened to be some stuff that I had left over. Uh, I noticed that it said uh, that this was good for cuttings, excellent for cuttings. And I consider these uh, suckers to be cuttings, so we'll just go ahead and use that. I have some miracle Grow tomato plant food. I have some Epsom salts, which are magnesium sulfate. I have a spray bottle, uh, 96 cents from your big orange retail giant, and it is filled with water only uh, at this time. And I have my uh, flat that uh, does not have holes in it. It will hold water. I also have pre-prepared some, um, some craft sticks. They say tomato sucker, and I got tired of writing that, so I wrote a few of them out that just say tea sucker on them, and we'll use these to identify the plants um, for later on when we're, uh, when we're trying to identify them and watch them grow and keep track of them. So that's the supplies we have, and we'll begin by uh, filling up the pots. Now this is a very fine potting mixture. I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, it's very, very soft and it's very, very dry. Uh, so, I mean, it's like um, it's like a mixture of flour and sand. It's uh, it's just not not much to it. It's very lightweight. So we'll fill up the small pots about uh, probably about uh, halfway. Uh, you can see that's about halfway. Can you see that's about halfway? I don't know. I put too much in this one, so we'll... Uh... Okay, that's about halfway. Now this large one, I'm not going to fill up uh, very much. I'm just going to put a layer in the bottom. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'm just putting a layer in the bottom of this because this is going to be for the larger plant. One thing that I failed to mention is a necessary when you're doing uh, small pots like this is to have a set of uh, measuring spoons. Now these are just a kitchen set that you can buy at almost any store. Uh, I try and, uh, although there's nothing toxic out here that we're going to be using, uh, I try and keep one set for garden use and one set for kitchen use so we don't get them mixed up. So uh, this one has, uh, has been used in the garden and I'm going to be using it. It's very uh, useful. The uh, miracle Grow tomato food comes with its own measuring spoon and I'm just going to take the small end of this spoon and scoop out a level spoonful of tomato food and I'm going to put in each peat pot. And in the large pot I'm going to put two of the small measuring spoons. So we're through with the um, we're through with the miracle grow. Uh, this is something you don't want to overdo. If you watched my other videos, what you've seen is that uh, I have over fertilized them and uh, over watered them. So I'm trying to avoid that uh, right now. The other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, one teaspoon, one teaspoon of Epsom salts. Epsom salts is a white crystalline powder. 
crystalline uh, uh, product and I'm going to put one teaspoon in each pot. Now I'm not sure why I do this. Um, I keep telling myself that it's to uh, prevent blossom end rot but I'm not sure that it actually does that and of course in the larger pot I'm going to put uh, two teaspoons. So we're through with the Epsom salt and the fertilizer so we'll get those out of the way. Now I have one stick here that's not labeled that I'm going to use to thoroughly mix this up. Uh, you want to keep your whole hand, your finger over the bottom of the pot because uh, this stuff will drain out the bottom. So I will take all of these pots, show you one more time. You can see how it looks. I'm just going to mix it all up. Keeping my finger over the hole in the bottom of the peat pot. The reason we want to mix it up well is that we don't want the roots to come into direct contact with the fertilizer because it might have a tendency to uh, burn them or uh, cause some problems. So we really don't want uh, that to happen. Okay, all of the pots are thoroughly mixed up. I'm not through with this uh, potting soil, but I'll get it out of the way. Now I need to go get the plants. Okay, one of the things that we forgot to do was to use our spray bottle with the water in it. And what I want to do is I, I want to set it to spray and I just want to spray this soil. As I told you, it's very, very dry. And I want to spray it uh, to get it damp. And I'm, I'm going to dampen it pretty well and then uh, use the uh, craft stick to stir it up good so that when I put these um, when I put the roots of these tomato uh, uh, suckers in there, they will be in contact with fairly damp soil rather than fairly dry soil. So uh, I'll stop the video and go ahead and do this and we'll come back when these are pretty wet. Okay, uh, we're back now. Let me show you what I've got. I've got a fairly wet uh, surface but the rest of the soil is fairly uh, dry. I really want to get a little more water in there than that. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it is a little bit damp. It's kind of like, um, I don't know, I think of something in the kitchen that's kind of like uh, uh, some sort of uh, pastry flour, but uh, cornmeal mix. But it's just a little bit damp. I'm gonna put some more water on it. Okay, I brought uh, my plant out here that's in the peat pot, and as you can see, it uh, the roots on it are, are pretty strong. So I'm going to plant this one, peat pot and all, in this larger pot. And of course, what I want to do is, uh, is make me a little hollow down here in the bottom so that I can just take this peat pot, pot and all, and sit him down inside this other pot. Then what I'm going to do is take some of this soil and fill in around this pot. And as I go, I'm going to be watering this soil with the spray bottle. And I'll use my craft stick to stir it up and pack it down good around the uh, smaller peat pot. Keep it good and wet. I'll wet some of the leaves as well. Some more potting mix. Now if I were planting this in the garden, I would want to be sure that I got that entire peat pot um, under, under the dirt and so that the uh, edges of the peat pot would not be close to the top of the soil. Now, I'm packing it down. The reason for that is that that peat pot wicks a lot of the soil 
um, I mean a, a lot of the moisture out of the soil and we'll take it right up to the air and dry this plant out so as you can see now I have filled that virtually all the way up to the top of the pot maybe a little bit more here and you can see I actually have two stems that will grow into tomato plants I'll take advantage of that later on and I'm going to take the uh, mister and I'm going to get all of the dirt off the leaves and I'm going to wet that um, that soil very well I've been wetting it a little bit as I put it in there but not uh, not giving it a good soaking and now I'm going to start uh, wetting the pot just a little bit because like I said the pot uh, will wick some of that moisture both out of the plant and into the plant so here is our first sucker planted in the large pot and we'll put him aside and we'll go to one of these smaller suckers. Now I want to first take advantage of get all this dead uh, dead leaves and rotten stems away from this. See I have two suckers here that have very good root systems. You can see those. And what I want to do is spread those roots out a little bit. Excuse me, cat. Don't get under me. What I want to do is spread those roots out a little bit. Take one of our pots here. And I want to go down in the pot and form uh, a pretty nice little hole down there. I'm going to have to wet the soil to make sure that the hole will uh, maintain its uh, its form when I put this down in it. I'm going to put it down in the soil as far as I can get it. And then I'm going to add a little more soil. Keep it good and wet. When I get the soil fairly damp, I'm going to press it down so that the plant will stay in place. I'm going to add some more soil. A little more water. Press it down good. more soil all the way up to the top of the pot and now I'm going to press this down before I wet the soil and there you see we have our uh, our sucker in the pot the, the water is all the way up to the soil is all the way up to the top edge of the pot and I'm going to give it a final little mist here And again, I'm going to wet the outside of the peat pot. And there we have our second um, sucker planted. So I'm going to go ahead and do this to all of these, and uh, then I'll come back and, uh, and, uh, and we'll go further. Okay, I've got um, most of the plants. There were a couple left over here that really look pretty bad, so I didn't even bother planting them. Their root structure wasn't very good. I am going to take the water, however, that they were in, and I'm going to pour it over each plant because this water has been uh, sitting in the uh, windowsill. Uh, it did come out of the tap. It was, um, that one's a little top heavy. It was, um, it has been in there for some time, uh, and the chlorine is probably evaporated out of it. 
So rather than cover these guys with chlorinated water, I'm going to use this water first. We'll take those boys and put them in the compost bin and get some water on these uh, on these freshly planted suckers. And now I'm going to spray the plant, spray all the leaves very good. It's about five o'clock in the afternoon here in Atlanta and uh, it's the heat of the day is gone. So I'm expecting that uh, these should perk up tonight. And I'm going to put a lot of water in this uh, flat as well so that they'll be able to uh, soak it up from the bottom. As a matter of fact, what I'm going to do is just take it right out of this container and pour it right in there. Pour some on the plant so that the water will actually soak down through the um, the fresh soil that's very dry. Okay, here you have a little bit closer look at the plants uh, after they have uh, uh, been potted and put into the flat. As you can see, some of them look pretty weak, but hopefully they will, uh, they will freshen up and we'll have some good tomatoes. So that's what that looks like. We've got two, four, six small pots. Two of them have two plants in them. And then we have the larger pot over on the other side. So watch for the future videos. You know, I'm going to all this trouble and I really, really hope it works. Um, but we'll see. So there you have it. I'll keep you posted on what happens with these uh, tomato plants. Uh, over the next couple of weeks. Thanks for watching.